Hello everyone, this is Sylvia with Silver Pine Kiko Goats, and in today's video, I am going to be troubleshooting my electric fence. This is a Premier One electric goat fence netting that I have already set up, and today I will be connecting the energizer and the ground rod system and getting it all ready to go for the goats. Now also in today's video, um, hopefully I will be putting the goats in it after I have finished troubleshooting, make sure, making sure that it's all ready to go for the goats to go in it and I can just show you that as well, um, testing it out with the animals actually in it. So my fence is already set up. Um, all I have to do is connect all my wires, get everything um, connected to the energizer and to the fence and get my ground rod system going. So I think I found some good supplies to go with my fence that should work out well. So in today's video, I'm going to try that out and I'll show you guys how it goes and uh, see if how well this fence works for my herd. Well, the electric fence is all set up. We made sure that nothing is really touching the bottom. So we're just about ready to get it hooked up to the charger and put in the grounding rod. Um, Brianna has the grounding rod. This is my sister Brianna, for those of you who don't know. Yep, she's got her sledgehammer and we've got our grounding rod. Also, the cats are coming to see what we're doing here. They're gonna be gone quick once we start hammering. Yep, I don't think the cats are gonna like the sound of the hammering. Grounding rod, it's just a piece of rebar that we're gonna use. Um, we have all of our supplies here. I have the fence energizer and um, all the wires, the instruction manual. Um, I've got my voltage tester. And for now, I'm just keeping it in this plastic bucket with this cover that I'll just set over the top of it. So we're going to get all of this hooked up and then I'll show you guys what's going on when we get the grounding rod put in, we get it all hooked up. Um, I don't know a ton about electric fences, but I've done lots of research and I'm hoping I can get all of this right. Um, with the amazing help of some of my subscribers, they've helped me with a few little issues I've come across, but today's finally the day and we're going to try this out and get it set up. So. Um, I think the goats are definitely hungry and ready for some food, so I'll get them um, in this electric fence to eat all of this. Duchess wants to go in and eat the grass. Yep, that's Duchess, our little kitten. Um, she's she's going in to uh, test out the, the fence in there. Fozzie's not quite as brave, huh? <laughs> well, what do you say, Brianna? Should we get hammer in with that ground rod? Then we'll get it hooked up. Alrighty. Okay, so our soil is super rocky, so I'm gonna have to pick a good spot without too many rocks to hammer this in. Um, we also want the fence to be able to reach where this ground rod is gonna go, but I'll try going right here. Brianna's doing good. We're just kind of taking turns to get this ground rod in the ground. Um, we're almost there, getting super close. Um, Brianna's good to come out here and help me with this because work is always a lot more fun with two, huh, Brianna? Yep. This really makes your so. Sore. Yep, just a couple more inches. We're getting close. So. This was like a six foot piece of rebar. Um, I did a little bit of research to see, you know, what length, how long the ground rod had to be. I'm not exactly sure, um, you know, how this is all gonna work out, but I researched a bunch of info and I'm giving it my best shot. So um, we never know till we try. We're just gonna give it a shot. Yep. And, um, yeah, it's, it's looking good. We got this big 
six foot piece almost all the way in the ground. There's only a tiny bit sticking up. So the farther you go down, the harder it is to hammer it. Yeah, for sure. So you think this is good, Brianna? You think this will do the job? I don't know how deep it goes. It has to go down. So. Yeah, me neither, really. <laughs> um, people do it different ways. With different types of ground rods and all that, it's, it's a whole big science in itself, but... Um, this should be a nice fence uh, because it's on a hill. It's super ski wampus um, in the way that it's facing, and it's hard to get the get it all straightened out and make sure the bottom isn't touching the Not ground true. to ground out. So it definitely does have character to it. Yeah. Um, so we'll just have to see how it works. So this looks about this looks pretty good. I think we have about. Maybe a little less than a foot sticking up. Um, we're going to try it. If we need to put it in more a little bit, then we'll do that. But we're going to try it like this. And um, we'll start getting everything hooked up um, with the energizer. And get that hooked to the battery. Okay, so here's what I have in the box. And then I have my red clip clipped to the fence right here. Um, I really hope I'm doing all this right because I don't want to short circuit or anything or ruin this. But I read through the instructions and I'm doing what it shows. So then this green clip, um, once we plug in the green clip, once we have the goats in here, the green clip is going to clip to our fence grounding rod. I'm going to set the gate up here and I'm going to plug in the green clip and just make sure, use our voltage tester and make sure that the voltage is correct and that everything is functioning. So right now I will do that. Okay, so this part right here will be our gate. All right, well guys, I have the red alligator clip connected to the fence and I have the battery connected. Now I just have to connect the green alligator clip to my ground rod right here and then I will test the voltage of the fence with my fence tester, which I'll show you in a minute. And as long as it's good, um, the goats will be ready to go in and I'll turn it off let the goats in and then turn it back on but if something's not right then I'll see what I can do to fix it so we'll just try and see what happens not a huge fan of um, dealing with all of this electric equipment because I guess I'm just nervous about all of this electricity stuff but here goes I'm gonna clip to my ground rod All right, so I think I'm supposed to hear a little crackle on the fence to know that it's going. And I don't hear that. So not sure if it is on or not. I'm gonna test it with the fence tester and we'll see um, if it's working. So I'm gonna push this uh, metal probe into the ground first of all. All right, it's in the ground. Okay, I see the lights coming on. All right, well, I just walked down to the neighbor's house to grab a few supplies that he had for me. Um, he's been helping me kind of with this electric fence stuff as well, kind of helping me get it hooked up, get it hooked up because he has this electric fence system for his goats and cows. But um, I'll show you what I have here. So I have a metal grounding rod right here. And then I have a, another piece of rebar to use as a grounding rod. But um, he also shined this one up for me a little bit. Um, took off the rust. 
in a few places there, so it will help the connection better. But the problem that I was having before, um, I'm sorry, but my filming device died, so I wasn't able to get some of my footage earlier um, that I, when I was filming in the previous clip. So I got the fence all hooked up and then I used my voltage tester to touch, test the voltage and it was 1000 volts instead of 3000 I needed to get it up to at least 3000 volts. So in order to do that my neighbor said I needed more grounding for a better grounding system um, and so I headed down to his house I got these two grounding rods. Um, I'm going to try two to start. If two doesn't work, then I have my third one to try as well. And then I have this wire also. Um, and so I took a video, I took a quick video of his grounding system as well, so that I could remember what he was showing me of how to do this. So I'll show you guys that as well. But as you can see, I have a little more work ahead of me until this fence is complete and I can put the goats in. Um, I need some of those clips that I showed, those grounding rod clips. So that way um, I can clip the wire to the grounding rods and connect all of them to make a complete system. I was hoping that I just had to use one grounding rod and I heard that that might work because it's a lot easier when you're doing a portable fence that's going to be moved all around. So I'm going to have to go pick up some grounding rod clips and then after that I'll show you guys where I'm at in this system and my progress and all that. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated here in this video. and show you what's going on. All right, so what I'll be doing now that I put in two more ground rods. So last time when I tested the fence, it didn't have enough voltage with only this one ground rod. So I'm gonna try two ground rods and see if two will work. If two doesn't work, then I'll plug it into the third one. So what I'm gonna be doing right now is hook this wire onto each of the ground rods. And I'll be doing that with these ground rod clamps. I'll show you up close so you can see it. So these clamps are gonna go onto the ground rods and clamp the wire in place so it doesn't move. And then my wire is going to connect to the energizer that I have in the bucket right there. Um, but I'm gonna try a few different things with that too. I'm going to try it with the wire connected to the ground rods and the energizer and I'm going to try connecting just the wire to these two ground rods and then using the alligator clip to connect to this. So I'm going to show you guys a couple different things here. Troubleshoot with a couple different um, ideas with the ground rod system and see if I can get this fence up to enough voltage to where the goats can go in there and get shocked enough to not get tangled up in the fence or want to escape. Right now I'll just be showing you me working on the ground rod system and putting these ground rod clamps onto here, clamping the wire and plugging in the energizer, doing all that sort of stuff.
Well guys, I'm back. And as you can see behind me, if you can see Calliope and Primrose back there, I have had some success with the electric fence. So I'm going to tell you, I have my three ground rods all hooked up and hooked together and I have everything plugged in, the electric fence is on, and the electric current is working, so that is great. So I decided to put Calliope and Primrose in and test it out. And anyways, as I was saying before, I was not getting enough voltage with my one ground rod. So I tried three and I got them all connected together to see if that would make a difference. And it turns out it did not change what I was getting on my voltage reader. So the reader was still saying the, the same amount of voltage. I had only a thousand volts and I need to get to at least 2,000 volts to have a fair amount of output from the electric current in the fence. So with that being said, I put together the three ground rods to see if that would make a difference and it did not change it. My neighbor came and he checked out my fence and he said everything looks good so I got it all right. Sorry my video turned off there for a second but um, I'm back on. Anyways what I was saying before is my neighbor came over and saw that everything looked right with my electric fence so everything is good um, and the voltage is the same with the extra two ground rods that I connected to it. So you probably won't even need three ground rods if you're using this fence. Um, to give it a review, I think it's a really great fence and Primrose and Calliope are staying in really well even with just a thousand volts of electricity through it. So the goats are staying in even with this. I don't feel safe enough just yet to put the entire herd in here or to keep them in here overnight. Um, I'm just gonna, for now, keep Primrose and Calliope in here throughout the day and see how it goes. We're gonna figure something out and see if we can find out if the voltage is high enough to keep a bunch of goats in there all the time and if we can do something to get the voltage higher. Um, I'll just mess around with it and see what I can do and I will update, I will update you guys in the next video and of course tell you how all that is going with the fence. But Primrose and Calliope are, they're staying in really well. Let's see if I can, yep, there's Primrose. I don't know if you can see Calliope back there behind the blackberry bushes, but they're just chowing down in here. They are having a great time. And I'm really excited to have them in this new electric fence. I think it's going to be really good for them. And then we can browse them around the property. But yeah, I think this is a great fence. And I'm excited to keep trying it out. Can't wait to keep my whole herd in here. And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And appreciate you guys watching today. Please don't forget to hit, go down and hit that subscribe button. And I really appreciate having all my subscribers following along my channel. So I'll see you on the next video.